Turkey has achieved another historic defense milestone after Bayraktar TB3, Baykar's next-generation folding wing combat drone, successfully test-fired a new supersonic missile with high accuracy. This success not only underscores the rapid progress of the domestic defense industry, but also strengthens Turkey's position at the forefront of global military technological innovation. This test firing was conducted as part of a series of advanced tests prior to entering the full operational phase on the multi-purpose aircraft carrier TCG Anadolu, which is specifically designed to operate combat UAVs like the TB-3 and Kizalelma. This remarkable test result further confirms the TB-3's potential as the world's first ship-based drone capable of carrying and firing supersonic missiles. The Bayraktar TB-3 is a development of the highly successful TB-2, but with significant improvements in payload, range, control systems, and the ability to operate from short runways such as aircraft carriers. With its folding wings, the drone can be stored more efficiently in ship hangars and launched in greater numbers. The latest supersonic missile tested on this mission is a collaborative project between several Turkish defense companies, the technical details of which are kept secret. However, several sources state that the missile has supersonic speed above Mach 1.5, intelligent guidance system based on AI and INS, GPS, fire and forget capability, allowing the drone to maneuver immediately after launch, high effectiveness against moving targets. The TB-3 can take off and land from the TCG Anadolu aircraft carrier without the use of a catapult or resting hook, making it the most practical ship-borne combat drone in the world. The folding wing design allows for space savings and the deployment of more drones on aircraft carriers. The TB-3 is capable of carrying a variety of weapons, including anti-tank missiles, air-to-surface missiles, MAML and MAMT smart munitions, and now the latest supersonic missiles to the SATCOM system. The TB-3 can be operated from thousands of kilometers away. Without losing control, flight durations exceed 24 hours, enabling extended reconnaissance and attack missions. With this combination of features, the TB-3 is a pioneer in the category of fully combat-ready. Naval UCAV's unmanned combat aerial vehicles, the test firing was conducted at a Turkish military range specifically designated for high-speed weapons testing. The TB-3 took off, reached operational altitude, and engaged a target at medium range. Within seconds of launch, the missile accelerated away from the drone, leaving a supersonic trail that shook the test area. Several key stages of this test firing included integration of the TB-3's electronic and avionic systems with the supersonic missile. All systems operated smoothly, ensuring the drone's compatibility with high-tech weapons. The missile successfully engaged and maintained focus on both static and fast-moving targets. Even when the target engaged in evasive maneuvers, this included electromagnetic interference, extreme weather, and wind conditions. The missile hit the target center point, demonstrating the perfect performance of the guidance system. This result demonstrates that the TB-3 is not only a high-range drone, but also a precision strike platform capable of delivering advanced weaponry. With exceptional reliability, the integration of this type of missile into a ship-based drone makes the TB-3 a new class of combat UAV. Combining air mobility, drone efficiency, and the striking power of supersonic missiles, the Bayraktar TB-3's advantages that set it apart in its class. The successful test firing of this supersonic missile has major implications for Turkey's defense, including providing long-range strike capabilities from the sea. Without relying on land-based air bases, Turkey is strengthening its position as a country revolutionizing the use of drones. In modern warfare, the integration of a domestically developed supersonic missile marks a further step toward full autonomy and the production of strategic weapon systems. The TB-3 has already garnered interest from many countries, and this success further enhances its appeal in the global market. Towards the era of supersonic naval drone warfare, this test firing indirectly paves the way for a new era in modern warfare, the era of ship-borne combat drones equipped with supersonic weapons. These advantages enable missions such as long-range strikes from the sea, anti-ship operations, countermeasures against strategic targets on land, and rapid strike missions against mobile threats. The TB-3 is not merely a reconnaissance drone or light weapons carrier, but an evolution towards a complete combat platform capable of carrying both supersonic and next-generation miniaturized hypersonic weapons. This success has 
attracted the attention of international defense analysts and observers. Many believe that Turkey is creating a new paradigm in the integration of drones and aircraft carriers with significantly lower operational costs than conventional fighter jets. The TB3 is an effective solution for countries seeking to strengthen their naval and air power without prohibitive investments. Some have even called the TB3 the UAV. That will set the new standard in ship-based operations over the next decade. The Bayraktar TB3's successful firing of the latest supersonic missile marks a major victory for Turkey's defense industry. This is not just a technical achievement, but also a symbol of the nation's strategic transformation toward a high-tech defense force. With its vast operational potential, the TB3 is poised to become one of the most influential combat UAVs in the world, transforming the way countries conduct maritime, air, and long-range combat operations. Baykar has once again demonstrated that relentless innovation is key to remaining at the forefront of the global military revolution. And the Bayraktar TB3 is a living proof of that vision. Proof of that vision.